and now we move down to the start of the visitors with Cornell University from the United States of America and Zurich and Blue Star Club from Switzerland. And both crews going off hard, uh, the composite from Switzerland moving moving across. But yeah, both crews going off well. And here we are, a little further on down the course. Looks like the yellow boat on the left from Switzerland is ahead of Cornell University on the Berkshire station. And I saw the Cornell crew heading out just before and all of their teammates, they must have some other boats here, were standing on the on the pontoons and huge cheers and support for their crew as they were heading out to race this, knowing that they obviously have a very tough ask against the Swiss crew. Yeah, I was speaking to the coach, Matt Draper, who coaches the Swiss crew, and it's a composite crew, and it's an interesting story that Fred Gill, the stroke man, actually learned to row at Newcastle and then rode in the boat race, and he's good friends with the three-man who they've always rode together, and he's been going over for weekends to Zurich to train in this crew to come to Henley. So it's going to mean quite a lot to them. And just for those of you watching at home, you might be wondering what the difference is between the event that we just saw, which of course was the Cox four, and this is a straight four. So there is no coxswain. One of the athletes in this crew has to do the steering themselves. It's generally the person in the stroke seat. They'll have a movable foot, which is attached to a rudder. And it is a little bit hairy uh, yeah. having to do the, the steering yourself without a coxswain. Yeah, the, the, and you, you look at these fixtures and you think there's lots of space between the blades and each other, but when you're actually on the course, it feels really claustrophobic and you do feel under pressure when you're close side by side to steer a good course. Yeah, we can see the Zurich crew there just moving ever so slightly towards the middle of the course. Of course, the umpires will warn any crews if they're starting to move out of their station. Yeah, and Cornell have an eight here in the temple as well. Um, and they come over here intermittently to race at the regatta. The Swiss are very fortunate this year to be able to be here because normally the Swiss championships are this weekend. But because the World Cups were swapped around and Lucerne was early, they had the Swiss championships last weekend. And that's why there are so many Swiss crews here this year. Yes, a huge number of Swiss crews. We saw, I think, about two or three yesterday afternoon competing. And, and now we can hear the umpire calling for the Z Club Zurich and Blue Star Club to move just over to their bow side. They're getting a warning. It is against the rules to move out of your station and to wash down another crew. The umpires put down their flags, so they must have responded. A Cornell just struggling to match the pace of this Swiss crew at this stage as they start to approach the enclosures. Yep. That's a big lead to make that. That is, yeah, that, they look very good. And the stroke man there, Fred Gill, with his blue star, that's the old boys from Newcastle University. So he's someone who learned to row at Newcastle and then went on to do the bow race. And here, doing really very well against this, this, the other guys in the Swiss crew are have had sort of under-23 under international experience. So they're good club athletes, and this is the event they should be in. This is what, the sort of people that win this event. And we saw a look around there from Joel Cooper, the bowman of the Cornell University crew. He's 188 centimetres, 79 kilos, looking around to have a look at what challenge lies before them as they come down towards the enclosures and the dying stages of this race. But this race is really, I mean, it's won and lost in that third quarter, really. That's where you really start to feel the pinch. And once you get into the enclosures and you hear the, the screaming and the cheering from the bank, you get so much adrenaline from that, but it does mean that anything can happen. So Cornell keeping the pressure on the Swiss crew as they come up towards the line now, but with just over a length and a half of clear water, it looks like the Swiss are going to take this win. Yeah, I mean, they're still having to, they've been kept on us and they have to stay on the work, but they do look like they're going to win this. Um, and they're a very neat crew. It'll be interested, interested to see how they progress through the regatta as they race again tomorrow and through maybe to the weekend. And as they drive down towards the line, it will be the Z Club, Zurich and Blue Star Club that will take the win in the Visitors Challenge Cup over Cornell University from the United States of America. What a tight race that was. Yep, both crews had to work for that.